friends. Welcome to Flower Vase Nature Art. My name is Sammy and I'm a community librarian with Deschutes Public Library. And if you can't tell, I love flowers. So today we're going to make art with flowers. Here I was inspired by Miss Julie's flower crowns and daisy chains. And to do the art that we're going to make today, you are going to need some cardboard, maybe from a cereal box or a box itself. You're going to need a marker, something to poke some holes, and some flowers. So let's get going. Okay friends, a conversation about flowers before we go pick them. Make sure you ask for permission. This is key because you never know if it's going to be a flower that somebody has been working on all season to make beautiful blooms or if it's actually going to turn into a cucumber any day now. So, make sure you ask for permission, whether it's your parents, your grandparents, your neighbors, make sure it's okay if you're going to pick a flower. If it's growing in the grass like a dandelion or a daisy, it's probably okay to pick. But still, why not ask? Then, when you're picking your flowers, make sure to get at least a little bit of stem. Here you can see a couple inches. You can have it longer than this, but this is probably good. If it's shorter, like this one, it might fall out of the hole that we're going to put it in and that could be pretty frustrating. Now while you're on your nature walk I have some things for you to think about and listen for and look for. What type of flowers are you picking? Maybe you need to ask some questions to find out what they are. When you're looking for them is the ground wet? Is it dry? Are there trees nearby? What is the environment in which it's growing? It's growing. Now also Listen, what do you hear? Do you hear birds? Because I do. Do you hear a garbage truck? Do you hear dogs barking? What do you hear? Is it peaceful? Is it loud and busy? What is your environment like? All right, I think it's time for us to go on our own little nature walk to find some flowers. Okay friends, welcome to my garden. You'll notice this year that I decided to grow a bunch of wildflowers. Most of them are native. I have some poppies, some cornflowers, and I'm going to pick a few. So, this is gonna be tricky with one hand, but here we go. I'm going to cut down just a little bit on the, this plant and then snip. You can always pinch off the blooms the, the scissors do a nice job at that too. Okay, I'm going to try and cut this one, this poppy. Giving myself a little bit of that stem. Look what else I found growing in my yard. I found some mushrooms and these ones look pretty cool. These mushrooms are cool and that must mean that my plants have some really happy soil. Okay friends, I hate to admit it, but I have a bunch of dandelions in my grass. I am going to pick them for my bouquet. Look, I even have some lavender in my yard, which is still blooming. A lot of it is already done blooming for the season, but it smells so beautiful that I'm going to have to pick some for my bouquet. Okay friends, on my nature walk in my yard, I found a bunch of different flowers. I found some corn flowers in a variety of different colors. I found candy tuft, found some poppies, some crimson clover, although it's kind of done blooming, but it's still beautiful. Some lavender, a bunch of dandelions, and at the store, for my crown, I got some Peruvian lilies. Now we need to prep our cardboard for our vase or flower pot. Let's start with that. Okay friends, I now have my cardboard in a couple of different shapes. I did already go over with a pencil the shape that I want to do, so then I can just use my marker and trace it. But I'm going to make a flower pot, a large vase, and a skinny vase out of these. So here we go. Okay. 
I now have my three different designs and I'm going to figure out what flowers I want to put with each one so that I can poke the appropriate number of holes for them. So here we go. Okay friends, quick little warning about punching holes in the cardboard. You might need to use an adult because when you're punching a hole, it might get close to your finger and poke you and I'd hate for you to get hurt. So be careful, grab an adult. Eighteen flowers. Next up are the poppies and cornflowers. Now with this one, I might need to trim off some of my stems so that they look a little bit better, but look at that. So with our last one, I'm just going to fill it with all the rest of the flowers that I picked. I think there's almost 20 flowers, so let's see how it goes. And there is our lovely vase of flowers. I love it so much. Well friends, I had a great time taking a nature walk with you, finding some flowers that were okay to pick, and making some beautiful vases out of a variety of flowers my wildflowers and those pesky dandelions. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. Even the cat had fun. And go ahead, take a walk, and make your own. Bye.